Hello guys, Balash here from WP Cookhouse and today I want to show you how to set up your permalink settings. Uh, first of all, what are permalinks? Uh, basically, these are the, the, the URLs of your posts or pages in WordPress or in any kind of website. Permalink means uh, it's a portmanteau word. It means permanent link. So if I click here to my WordPress SEO tips article actually this is the the permalink so wpcookhouse.com forward slash wordpress seo tips why are permalinks important why uh, do we care of setting them because uh, this is the default settings uh, def default settings in wordpress and uh, back in the days uh, urls uh, used to look like this and when you type in something uh, into Google, Google actually displays uh, your permalink. And uh, this is much more appealing visually for the readers. If I see here that, okay, I'm, I'm uh, reading an article about WordPress SEO tips, that's just um, kind of more convincing than seeing something like question mark p equals one two three four or whatever so it's uh, visually appealing for the reader and it's good for google so this is uh, uh, all you need to know so we should set up something that looks good if you come here it's under settings permalinks where you can set it up in your wordpress site actually this is one of the first things you should do when uh, in installing a wordpress site because the plain settings this question mark thing is the is the default settings how your wordpress site comes when you set it up and this is just uh, ugly and uh, google tends to prefer sites uh, which use nice URLs, nice uh, permalink settings. As a rule of thumb, I advise you to set your site to use the post name settings. This is the simplest one. This means that when you when you have a post, let's say the, the title is WordPress SEO tips, then your URL will look like something like your domain forward slash and the title of your of your article this is the simplest one and i find it the most useful because google tends to like shorter urls shorter permalinks so why would you care uh, about using something else uh, using day or month so so the date uh, of publishing i think makes no sense for like 99 percent of the sites if you are running a new site with lots of news coming out every day, it might be important to to show uh, the date of publishing in the URL. But uh, I think these are the sites that are not aiming for SEO. So if you are looking, if you are watching this video and you want to have good SEO results, uh, you shouldn't care about the the date of publication of your post. In fact, what you want to do is uh, to bring up your article in the search results even after even years after. The, the publication date so you shouldn't use these ones there is another option a lot of sites uh, tend to use then using the the post name uh, here is the setting so the, this category for a slash post name means that instead of just using wpcookhouse.com slash wordpress seo tips it would look something like wpcookhouse.com slash SEO tutorials slash WordPress SEO tips. So it would uh, have the the category name of uh, the category your post is in. I find this is not useful in uh, most of the cases because um, first a lot of uh, site owners just don't know how to use the category names, the, the WordPress categories or tags correctly. Second, it just makes your URL longer as and I told you that uh, Google tends to prefer shorter URLs so if you know what you are doing if you're advanced in in WordPress and SEO you might want uh, you might find uh, helpful to to include the category name in your URL structure but uh, 
I advise you just to use this single post name settings. This will be okay in most of the times. And if you don't have experience in fine tuning your SEO, you just shouldn't care about including your category name. So just go ahead and use post name. This is easy. And there are some other settings when you, this optional uh, part of the settings page, when you go to a category page, let's say SEO tutorials, it, it, this is a category page for me, then it would look like wpcookhouse.com forward slash category slash SEO tutorials. And you can modify it here, put whatever you want, and then WordPress would use that word in the category URL. Actually, this is much easier to show you with the, with the tags in my case, because uh, so this is a tag page for me. And you see here, here you see the tag word. So this is what you, instead of tag, if you want to use another word, just go ahead and, and put it here and WordPress will rewrite your, your URLs for the tag pages or category pages. The reason you don't see this category word in my category pages because uh, I just uh, came here. This is under the Yoast SEO settings. So you need to have the Yoast SEO plugin installed. And uh, I guess it's under advanced and permalinks. Yeah. And I just set this to remove. So strip the category base from the category URL. So this is the reason uh, you don't see the, this category base or category word in my category URL. Uh, if you have a WooCommerce site, WordPress e-commerce site, then you have similar settings for that. So if you have WooCommerce installed, you will have a few more settings here. You know, this is the same page settings permalinks. And you see I have WooCommerce installed in my on, on this site. You can set up different uh, words or different settings for the product category base, the product tag base, and you can set the, the actual product permalinks, how your product URL will look like. Here you will be fine with uh, either one of the settings. Uh, if you don't know what how to set it up, just use the default. So <clears throat> if you want to set up your site for good SEO results, just go ahead right after you install WordPress and settings permalinks and set this to post name and you'll be good hit the like button if you found this video helpful and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you'll get updated with wordpress and seo tutorials regularly here on youtube and thank you for watching